Toronto's most prominent chefs are receiving a special recognition. The second edition of the Michelin Guide has been announced, highlighting some of the best cuisine the city has to offer. It tells the world that Toronto is at that elite level of culinary destination. Two restaurants have been added to the prestigious list of existing 12 one-star restaurants in the city. They include Restaurant 20 Victoria and Capo Sato. And it's just really the tip of the iceberg. We have such an incredibly deep culinary scene that is inspired by flavors and tastes and cuisines from around the world. Sushi Masaki Saito remains the Toronto restaurant with the most Michelin stars, holding on to the two stars they received last year. I want to try to change the Canada, change the Toronto first. Michelin coming, support me now. Michelin coming, good chef, good restaurant coming more. In future, in Toronto, chase New York. I want to take over. In a first for the city, two restaurants received green stars for sustainability. They include Free Lou and White Lily Diner. It's just amazing to see the world-class culinary scene and how the local community has really embraced this. I mean, the diversity that you see in the kinds of cuisine in Toronto are unparalleled in other places. Inspectors have been anonymously visiting restaurants across the city, judging restaurants using a secret methodology. The guide selection is based on five universal criteria, including quality products, the harmony of flavors, cooking techniques, the personality of the chef as expressed in the cuisine, and the consistency between each visit. Anytime we come to a new city to see how the, the community embraces it and how each of the chefs really like try to have this friendly camaraderie where they're pushing each other to get better and it's fun to see how the whole scene elevates just based on the fact that we're in town. So Michelin really is is about recognizing the, the highest end of, of the culinary scene but we know it goes much deeper than that and so it becomes a symbol of, of everything that sits uh, around the city on the culinary side. <laughs> A full list of restaurants that were featured can be found on the Michelin Guide's website. In Toronto, Melissa Nakabali, City News.